the airplane is a power plant in the air. Let's just take the 787 with one megawatt of main generators. You think about your neighborhood, and if you took 65 houses, that's about the same amount of power used per year on board that 787. I'm Bill Dolan, Vice President of Engineering and Technology for Powering Controls at Collins Aerospace. We at Powering Controls, Bill, we play a big role. There's many things going on in the industry. Hydrogen for fuel, SAF for fuel, all of those are perfect for electrification of the engine. Among the many things that Collins is doing to redefine aerospace is electrified aircraft. And as the leader of the engineering group for Powering Controls, I also lead that strategic initiative for Collins. The reason that we lead it is because we generate the power, convert the power, and we distribute the power through the airplane. That is the heart of the whole system when you think about electrification. So what we are working on is the ability to create higher density, higher rated motors, motor drives, to create more power and less weight. When we think about electrification of aircraft, we're talking about two things. One is just replacing some of the legacy hydraulic and pneumatic load with electrical power. And with that brings the ability to not take bleed air off the engine and therefore make a more efficient engine and less fuel burn. There's another end of electrification and that's in a new market. That's where we're talking about electrification of the engine in terms of making an all electric engine or a hybrid electric engine designed so that the core is small as possible so that it can be most efficient at cruise from a fuel burn perspective. So the hybrid electric would assist it during takeoff and climb, and then the thermal engine would take over during cruise. And then of course, down when you land, you can you know taxi in with the hybrid electric engine as well. Because we're Collins and we have many of the other products on the airplane, we're also working with other business units to figure out how to electrify their components. With Empowering Controls, we have the air conditioning system, the environmental control system. We did that on 787. We have the engine control that provides a Pratt and making sure that, you know, as we think about the parts around an engine, instead of being a fuel hydraulic, we'll make those electric. So we're looking at all the pieces so that we can make the airplane as electric as possible. You're thinking about the seating on the aircraft, every one of those seats now has power and the demand for power is going up. So as we think about that strategic initiative and redefining aerospace, what we're just looking to do is make sure that we have the most power dense, most power efficient system in the world and connect everything that we have within our four walls of Collins to make sure that we can provide the best product for our customers. We're at the point in the aerospace cycle where we're about to have a revolutionary change. What we have fielded today, everything we've done to this date, was built on people who worked here 50 years ago. We have stood on their shoulders and now have a great business. What we need to figure out is what are we doing today so that 50 years from today, there will be people in these positions who are thinking about the innovations, the technology that we brought forth and how we as Collins Aerospace and RTX redefined aerospace so that they now can walk around with pride when they look up in the skies and see their products.